Hi folks. Today I got a video for y'all. I want to thank Larry who sent it to me. Larry, I greatly appreciate it. Keep sending me videos, I'll keep giving them shouts. Plus, anyone who sends me a video, I will give you a shout out personally thanking you for helping me get the content I need to make this make this channel better. We're gonna look at Denver Metro audits. We're also gonna be looking at Donut Hole and DJ KC something. I couldn't get his name. Sounded way too fake. But let's watch these idiots go to a federal building and get in trouble. And I actually don't know what this building is, but it is federal. So we just uh, came across the street from the post office to check it out. Got Donut Hole with me and I got uh, DJ Kate out the party today. So let's do a little quick tour around the exterior and see how it goes. First off the bat, these geniuses don't know what they're doing. They're a federal building, which means it's either a federal courthouse or a federal agency. Also, why would you need to go there? You don't have any business there unless you are actually going to federal court or a federal agent. So, I think you guys are just there to cause problems. Now look, we got the C&I. It looks like the back of a $1 bill right here. Look at all these cop cars, man. Every one. Well, we could imagine there's going to be a lot of cops there. It's a federal building. Maybe a lot of federal agents or U.S. Marshals are there to handle business. Maybe they need to see, you know, somebody from Homeland Security or a federal, a federal attorney just to go and make sure they have to work on a big case. I like to check the inside to see how clean they're keeping them. You know, audit, Denver, whatever you want me to call you, if you're concerned about the cars being cleaned, and you like to make sure they're clean on the inside, why don't you get a job at a car wash being a detailer? Makes decent money, and it'd be a respectable job instead of being a fraud editor. Kind of dirty in here. This one dirty? Yeah, messy anyway. Let's go skip Oh, he's got a lot of drinks and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Was that the entrance right there? I don't have a, a mask. Do you think they have masks in there for us? Huh? Do you think they have masks in there? They don't have one. Wait a minute, genius. We're in a pandemic. And you're walking around without a mask? Going into buildings without a mask? Uh, you're pushing all kinds of levels of stupid now, aren't you? Uh, I don't know if there's a federal statute. It's a mandate. So that's not a law though, right? Yeah, it's not. Okay. You know. we'll see. Check this out. United States court. So this is a courthouse. It's a federal court? Federal courthouse. I think it's like the older one. Yeah, but there's no there's no statute that says that you have to wear a mask. Just general, it's it's just their policy. General order of assault, so it's just good. General order. 
genius. It's the policy of the courthouse. Yes, it's not a law, but with the pandemic being what it is, and as dangerous as it is, they want people to wear a face mask or covering to prevent others from getting sick and spreading this horrible, horrible illness. It's no different than going to a store with a sign that says, no shirt, no shoes, no service. It's not a law, but it's a policy. On the courthouse website. But that's not a law. It's not a law. That's like a policy. And yep. policies are not applying to yeah. us. <clears throat> that's why you gotta pay attention, guys. You gotta pay attention to orders, rules, procedures, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But it's not. Can't you guys? I'm sorry. Can we help you? I can't hear you. Can I'm a little hard to hear. I'm sorry. Can we help you? Can we help? Help me? Yeah. No, I didn't ask for help. Not yet. Okay, you can't film inside the courthouse. Oh, we weren't going to film in the courthouse. Okay. You yeah. can't take film. You can't take pictures inside. You can okay. get all the pictures Did you, you want. Did you read the 2018 uh, Department this of Homeland? This, hold on, hold on, this is the talk. judge's order from the talk. chief judge. Sir. You can't take pictures in it's, the photograph. It says that you... <laughs> inside sir. the courthouse. We're not going inside the courthouse. You we're we're going in the courthouse, yeah. not you the courtrooms. We're not going in the court. Okay, geniuses. The chief judge of the federal courthouse issued out a policy. No filming inside the courthouse. Not just the courtrooms, but the courthouse itself. You can film outside, but you can't film inside the courthouse. Uh, actually, we're, you can take you, all the pictures you yeah, want outside. Okay, first of all, you're absolutely wrong. Mm -hmm. No. And No, no, because Supreme Court has, has, uh, has we'll, a rule. We'll call the marshal service and they, they can come down and deal with it. But you need to wear your mask while you're doing it. Well, I mean, that's also not a law. That's a policy. There's no statute. Yes, it, it's a... A moron. Just because it's not a law doesn't mean you don't have to obey it. It's a policy of the building. So, like I said before, no shirt, no shoes, no service, no face covering, no mask, no entry. Policy of the chief It's a judge. policy. It's policy, not a there law. you go. Policy is not a law. I think you need to do your homework and you probably need to retire because you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Thank you. And we weren't rude to anybody. Okay. We, we didn't say, we didn't ask for help. We didn't, we were just recording. We did that's that. DHS memo, 2018. Well, I would say you've been pretty rude so far. Talking over people, being loud and belligerent, not following the rules and policies of the courthouse. I'd say that's pretty rude. In states were allowed to record any federal building in, in the hallway, entryway, corridors, auditoriums. Look it up. I encourage you to look it up, sir. And if I wish. And this to. is a federal building, correct? Correct. Okay. And there's also case law on it, too, as well. It, 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 matter of fact, you guys got sir. sued. So what, what, what are you wish um, to say? Because uh, in, that's why they had to change the memo. Because it was 2010, okay. now it's 2018, and they had to revise it because of that lawsuit. Because a guy sued a federal courthouse for not allowing him to record. We're not in the, in the court. So who are you trying to convince, sir? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Who are you trying to convince here? Uh, is that any of your business? What, what, yeah, you're saying, are you asking me these questions? This old time over here seems like he's a Chad. I'm getting some Chad levels off of him. Let's see how he handles these frauditors. Well, this is, this this is, is not my business either. What you We're think? taxpayers. Okay, please. Go, go about your business, sir. We, let, we didn't bother you. Go about your business, sir. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. All right. We'll do that. But you don't have to be rude. No, I wasn't. And matter of fact, what's your name and your badge number? My name is... I'm sorry? That's part of your, your policy, sir. Your name and badge number now. Kiss my ass now. Oh, uh, beautifully said, sir. See, this is how we need to deal with frauditors. We don't need to take their crap. Let's demonetize our channels by using profanity. Oh, really? <laughs> no, that? you can kiss oh, the square of my ass. Start. How about that? Since you want to be a fucking smart ass, we didn't do okay, anything yeah. wrong to you, sir. We were respectful, yeah. and you just told me to kiss your ass? I did. Yeah, that's on record. Okay. That's on yes. record. Okay. okay. Did you get that, complaint. too, that he just told me to kiss his ass? Is you that part of your policy, too? Record. You need to leave. He just told me to kiss his ass. You need to leave, or you're probably going to... You are such a Karen. You're yelling because somebody told you to kiss their ass. Well, maybe if you would stop harassing people, quit being rude, wear a mask, and quit wasting everyone's time and get a real job, maybe they wouldn't say that to you.
going to be arrested by the marshal, sir, for trespassing. Trespassing? Don't you can't trespass. That's not part of the problem. Don't come in here and drop F. You don't come in here and drop F bombs. And these he gentlemen, just told, wearing, he just and these told me gentlemen to kiss are ass. wearing a mask. You need to have on a mask. Everything is on That's camera. That's an order of the chief judge. Phil Bremer is the chief judge. That's his order. Sir, judges, sure, can I respond to that? You're judges not, can make orders for their courtrooms, not for the entire you, building. That's unconstitutional, sir. It's you're, unconstitutional. You're in violation of the chief judge's order. It's not unconstitutional. It's the fact that they don't want nobody else getting sick during the height of a dangerous pandemic. Why don't you grow up, put a mask on, act your age, and not your IQ? The uh, okay. unconstitutional order. They can't make a mm -hmm. an order for the entire well, building, only the courtrooms. Huh? Yeah, we need to identify you guys too. I'm not gonna argue. With we need no, to identify no. you, sir. I, What's your I name? I need to do a federal lawsuit. Um, I need everybody's names and badges. That's part of your policy. That's part of your policy, sir. Are you security or? Here we go. The real reason why they're there. They want to get a lawsuit started, so they'll harass the employees and do whatever it takes to get their way. Huh. I wish we could just take these people outside and uh, give them, make them go cut a switch, if you know what I mean. You're an officer. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Huh? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? No. Wow. Wow. Truly professional. This guy over here told me to kiss his ass, which I guess that's part of your, your professionalism. And then you're not even giving your name and your badge number. How do I know that you're even a, a whatever you are? You better get your shit in order, I'll tell you that. Hey, Mr. Foulmouth, I run a family-friendly network here. You don't use that kind of language here. If I was your mother, I'd take you to the bathroom and make you eat a bar of soap. Now, they have the right to tell you to shut up and get out, which they've done. You need to do so, because if not, you're probably going to get arrested for trespassing and disorderly conduct. I don't know if you ever heard of Colorado Revised Statute 16-3-311, where we're allowed to court law enforcement on public property, and this is publicly owned by the people, taxpayers. So you better do your homework. If these guys are taxpayers, I'm a monkey's uncle, and I doubt that. So, what taxes are you paying? Sales tax? That's nothing. Till you pay, pay property tax, or income tax, or get a job that pay that deducts money, you're not a taxpayer. They're gonna come take pictures of us. Oh, good. And don't erase those. That's a uh, that's a Colorado Revised Statute as well. If you erase those. That is a uh, that is a misdemeanor. Where'd you go to law school? We didn't we didn't we didn't. That's none of your business. Just like it's none of my business. Um, I know I know my I know my laws better than you. Colorado Revised Statute 16 3 311. I forgot your law. He's got you there. Wait, did you even go to law school? No. Frogs don't go to law school. Frogs go to how to be an idiot. But they do get a law degree from YouTube, so they can be misinformed and try to misinform everyone else among their merry days. I'm sorry? I forgot more law than you Oh, you for... You, where'd you go to law school? Yeah, where'd Same you go? Yeah. Chuck E. Cheese? Training? Yep. And you just go to Chuck E. Cheese for your law school? They wouldn't let you in. Huh? Look how unprofessional this guy is, man. This is how you treat members of the public? You're paid with tax dollars, sir, and this is your conduct? Come on, man, that's unacceptable. No, we came in to be peaceful. You're the one that had come, made contact with us and started making orders, unlawful orders too. This guy's telling us to kiss his ass. We never said anything until you guys started being disrespectful to us. Now let's clarify a few things here, shall we? One, you violated the courthouse's main mandate when it comes to the pandemic by not wearing a mask or a face covering. Two, when they asked you to do so, you belligerently talked over them. When they told you you couldn't film inside the courthouse, you got even ruder and louder. 
when you start to demand stuff from them, they got rude. Yes, was it unprofessional? I would say so. But what professional standards do you guys have? All you guys do is go around the country harassing everyday individuals who are trying to work, take care of their families. For what? Clicks and views for YouTube? I would say get a, get a job or get a life, but I don't know if any of those things would apply to you guys. We didn't do anything to anybody. We came. We didn't say anything to anybody. We were just taking pictures and video. How are we doing? Are you the supervisor, sir? What's going on, guys? Are you the supervisor? Uh, uh, who, who are you? I, I'm a deputy with the marshal service. Nice to meet you. Perfect. Yeah, nice to meet That's you guys. So, can I see, what's your name and your badge number? Yeah, please, I'm not going to give you that. Uh, okay. That's part of your policy, sir. That's so, part of your policy. This, look, this, just this, this guy here told. Look, you're being a Karen, complaining to the manager. They told you off. You didn't like that. You didn't wear a mask. They told you you had to wear a mask. What's next? You guys going to say they're violating your civil rights? They're going to file a lawsuit? If you guys do anything in life, I hope it's something other than being a fraud girl. Me to kiss his ass. Is that part of your policy as well? Is that professional? And I have it on camera, so. Okay. So here's what I'm going to tell you guys, um, and I'll be as cordial and as polite as I can, okay? You're not, because you haven't given me your name and, and, and your bet. I don't know if you're an officer. I don't know. I just showed you my credentials right there. He has been polite and cordial. He showed you his credentials. He also told you he was a deputy with the marshals. What is it with you guys and names and badge numbers? It's like a trading card game with you guys. Do you got to collect them all? Do you get some kind of prize if you get a hundred of them? If so, I would like to know what you get. I, I, no, yeah, but you didn't I, identify. I didn't, you didn't no, identify, didn't, sir. Didn't identify. I said I was a deputy with the Marshal Service. Identify, yeah, but anyhow, anyone can just say that. We need your name. Anyhow, besides that, there's a local court order prohibiting videography inside the courthouse, the that's federal order, courthouse. That's not a law. It, it, was, was, it, it is a local it, order. It wasn't legislated it is, by Congress or the Senate. I am simply informing you of the facts, and I can print that that's out. That's a mandate. Okay, that's sir. fine. You think, I think so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to contact the United States Attorney's Office. See if they're willing to prosecute for violating the court order. If they are, then we will arrest you people. Okay? I'm giving the opportunity to leave. And like I said, you can film all you so want outside, so the, outside of the building. You're threatening us with arrest? I am simply informing you. No, no, no. Of our I mean, you're threatening us you, with arrest. So right? I, I'm letting you know that. Look, he's not threatening to arrest you. He is telling you that if you guys don't leave, he will go to the prosecutor. And he will see if the prosecutor wants to file charges for violation of the court order. If you don't want to violate that order, go outside and film. If you don't leave, you will be arrested for trespass and violating the court order. So let's make the wise decision, gentlemen. So that's fine. You guys can stay right here for right now. No, no, no. Perfectly you're, fine. Well, wait. But you're threatening, you're threatening that. us with, with the rest? Saying, Thank you. Are you Thank you. you, you just threat, that's no, he just said we can stay right here. He just told us we can stay right here. We're good right here? Okay. We're good right here, he said. He just threatened us with the rest. No, he just told, said we're good right here. He said we're fine to stay right here. He told us to stay right here. Right now you can, because I'm going to contact the United States Attorney's Office. But you said you were. You just threatened us with arrest. Yeah. You just, Are you threatening with his arrest, sir? Are you asking us to leave because you're threatening us with arrest? What's going to happen if you guys do not decide to leave? Okay. Are you asking us to so leave? If we don't leave, we're going to be arrested. That's Are what you're asking us to leave. Are you giving us a law? Yes, you geniuses. He did tell you if you don't leave, he will call the prosecutor and see if the prosecutor wants to pick up the charges and then they will arrest you. Go outside, no jail time. Stay inside, you get jail time. How hard is that? We're asking, if you've given us an unlawful order to leave, then we'll leave. But if you're just, if, but if it's not a lawful order, we're gonna stay. If they're willing to prosecute you for this, then yes, you will be arrested. No, you have to ask us to leave. That's how you it works. You guys are playing games, man. Just, you, you have to gonna, ask us to be leave, arrested. So we don't leave. There are no games being played. You just said, you say, oh, you're yes, asking no, us to leave. leave. Over. You guys are continuing this. This guy's the supervisor. All we wanted was name and badge numbers. Matter of fact, we didn't even come in here to bother. Are you an uh, agent as well? I'm a private citizen. I'm sorry? I'm a private citizen. Oh, private security company. Okay. No, no, private citizen.
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't, I'm part of that. I'm trying to get you involved. Are we getting your way? No, it's fine. I'll wait. Hey, Jeremy. 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 You are going to go to jail if you don't leave. They didn't say you couldn't stay in the building. The choice is yours. To leave on the threat uh, on a duress of uh, and threat of uh, arrest. <clears throat> yeah, under threat of arrest, we would leave during uh, under duress. Do you some paperwork, Mike? No. Okay. Is it yes or no, supervisor. Do you want us to leave? You can stay in the lobby all you want. We close it. No, I'm asking. Under threat of arrest, do you want us to leave? Our business hours are from seven to. He just said we can stay in the lobby as long as we want. That's on record. Yeah. Until we close. Until we close. Okay. Well, yeah, we're not in there. If we can record there. in the lobby. We were, we we're not violating the judge's order speaking, until we go in there, right? Us. And he and supervisor, this is supervisor, sir. He he told he told me to kiss his ass. He told me to kiss his ass. He told me to kiss his ass. Is that okay? So, as soon as you pass the door videotaping, that's when you violate the court order. This door right here? The swing doors? There's no signs. Where? Where's the sign? On the outside of that door. It says something not, not recording? Mm -hmm. Where's the sign? Please, show me. Yeah, let's go look at it. Please show me. Can you please show us? Saying that the no cameras run allowed. I don't know where it's at. It's, it's can, somewhere. Okay. Can they, you show me? It was outside on the thing. They want it's, they want it's, that one right there. Where, sir? Can you show? Can you come show us? It's right there. Yep, that's poster seven. That's to is that poster seven? Security yeah. regulations, Basically. rules, orders, directives. Apply to federal court order or rule prohibits it. Persons entering in federal property may be may take uh, photographs. A space occupied tenant agency of non-commercial purposes, and we are news purposes. Okay, let me take a picture of that. It says photographs, news, advertising. All right, Twiddle D and Twiddle Dumb, you guys are not news. You're frauditors. All you're doing is causing a scene. If you were news, you would act like the news. You'd act like a proper person who the media should. All you're doing is going there to harass people, to get clicks and views for your channel. And yes, you guys can repost for seven all you want, but you still don't understand it. For commercial or commercial purposes, and then it has the CFR. Then it says, except where security regulations, rules, orders, or directives apply. So I think that's saying if there's a judge order that we can't. I got my camera on here too. Hello, sir. How are you? Hey, how are you? Oh. I'm sorry. I don't, want to, I don't want to be in your way. Yeah, I'm on a call. Oh, okay. We didn't know if you were here for us. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> if not, if I am, I'll come out and talk to you. Okay. All right. So if they're saying there's a judge's order, then that's it's unconstitutional. It is unconstitutional. But it's it, but they can still arrest us for it. it is. But it's actually unconstitutional. They can but, only they but, can't but make we, orders for the entire building. Yeah, they wouldn't hold up in a uh, federal court. No, because it's the first amendment. Well, I don't know about the legalities of it, but you just agreed that if the judge makes a court order, which the judge did, you can't go in there and film. Now, he specified you can film outside, but you can't film inside. You can try to take it to, to a federal court case all you want. You're not going to win. Hey, guys. So I guess I am here for you, maybe. Okay. okay. So you guys uh, were recording inside the lobby here. We don't, we're not answering any questions. You're not going to answer any questions. No. Can you can you identify yourself? Um, Inspector number eight five four. What's your name? I'm not going to say my name. It's your policy to give us your name, sir. 
Well, I'm not here for that, so. You're not here to, to, to abide by your policy? I don't have a policy that says that. You don't have about? a policy? No, he's not here to play your stupid childish games. Look, you guys are being frauditors. You guys got caught. Just take your punishment like a man. This yeah. says you, you, your policy are, doesn't are, state are you have to, to identify? Go? You are free to go. Huh? Yeah, you're free to go. Right. Okay, we're free, to, we're free to stay too. Right. Well. So what's going on? Well, what's the deal? Like, what are they telling you in there? I mean. So here, here's the long standing rules, okay? Okay. Rules okay. uh, What? Rules or law? Court order. Court order. So you can, you can do a Freedom of Information Act, Act request if you want on the court orders to this federal building, okay? And in this federal building, you can't record inside the lobby, okay? So there's a judge that signs something that says you can't do something, okay? And that could be for anything, any kind of court order they want to do. Now, if you go next door to this federal building, mm -hmm. it's different, okay? You're allowed to, to film in the lobby in common spaces, okay? And that's okay. If you want to go down to the EPA building, you want to film in there, in their lobby. That's fine. You can do that, okay? You can't go past screening, though. You film, okay? Some of that stuff is PII, IRS office. They have their own rules. Because they're dealing with Social Security numbers, IRS numbers, birthdays, stuff like that. They don't allow it in the office at all. No recording. Does that make sense? Because then you could steal information and, you know, commit crimes that way, right? Does that make sense? So, so is this lobby right here before we go through screening, we can't record in that area yeah, as well? Yeah, because it, there's a judge that said that you okay. can't do that. I got a question for you. Yep. Did you uh, swear an oath to the Constitution when you took your job as uh, as protective service officer? Yeah. Yes. First off, let's thank this officer for explaining the rules to these morons so they know. Look, he swore an oath, all cops swear an oath to protect the Constitution, but they did not swear an oath protect frauditors like you from being jack wagons. Look, just get a real job in a life. Do you feel that uh, the, the judge can make <laughs> orders for the entire building? Is that constitutional or is it just for their courtroom? Well, listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into all that. Well, you sort of know to the Constitution, sir. You should honor your oath. I mean, that's a totally unconstitutional yeah. order. Judges do it all the time. Jefferson County is notorious yeah. for it. They make orders for the entire building. Yeah. They're only allowed to make orders for their courtroom, and that's it. The Supreme Court, had, there's case law on that. So well, uh, th say, there's people okay. that are going to be getting arrested and lawsuits. Okay, so but I'm just saying, sir, you, you honored a note. You, yeah. you swore an oath to the Constitution. Honor your oath. Do you normally, with your gun unlocked like that, is that normal? Unlocked? Well, yeah, the, 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 the thing that keeps it in there, is it? Does it fold back? Well, this? Yeah. Or is oh, this is just a hard piece of plastic, so that way no one right. can reach over and grab my gun. It's just plastic. I could take it off. Too. Oh, okay. This is like, it was like yeah, a, that's not the locking mechanism or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I know they have different. It doesn't come out, you know. But, yeah. Okay. Um, so, I would, uh, so, um, you, you will be making a complaint. Uh, these, these gentlemen here, how do we go about that? Yeah, we need to get their names. One of them uh, called they told us to kiss his ass, uh, and uh, the, the guy with the accent, that's totally unprofessional. We're members of the public, we're tax-paying citizens. And so we need to get everyone's name in here. We have everything on, on video, uh, how rude and unprofessional they were, so we can file a complaint yeah. against them. But, but in order to do, the, do that complaint, we need to identify them. So can you help us out with that? You go on the DOJ website, Department of Justice, doj.gov, and they've got all kinds of forms and contact information you can but I mean does everyone's name have a picture so we can know who is who because well, well we, we know who works on you know in these buildings on a daily basis and okay. what well, shifts just, how come nobody wants to give us their name it's your policy you guys have to identify yourself to members of the public we pay everyone's salary here for our safety yeah. and they've been pulled over, they've been harassed, killed even. Yeah. Um, uh, we just had something uh, that happened last year in the war, somebody in person in an office. Yeah, I don't and, know that. But, but, so that's why it's... Uh... Look, he's not impersonating a cop. You guys can try to make up any little thing you want so you can get a badge number and a name so you can put it into a frivolous lawsuit so you can waste the court's time. Listen. Go to school, get, a, get an education, get a real job, put down the potato cams, quit frauditing. As a matter of fact, it, it's actually a law, it's a federal law that you have to have. Do you have a car? It's the, what, what's the car? It's I do, but I'm not going to get that. You're not going to give us your car, sir? Seriously, man, come on. Well, it's got my come phone on. number on there. 
Just yeah, but it's your business phone, right? It's not your it's not your personal it is. phone number. It We're, is. We uh, you I, made contact with us, sir. You have to give us your business so, card. That's so, your policy, so sir. I'll tell you we, you've been doing good so far, man. We don't want to have to file a complaint on you too, sir. But so, we will. You have to give you us your card. At two o'clock in the morning because you're upset. Oh, oh you know what I'm saying. But I can't turn my phone off either because I have to answer for emergencies. You know what I'm saying. No, so I don't have anybody screening my calls. I'll tell you what. I'll give you the phone number. You can always get in contact with. Okay. It's right there on the, on the back of every single one of those police calls. It's so so a 1-800 number. We, it goes sir, to our dispatch. Sir, we, we are taxpayers. Would you like that? Law-abiding citizens. Would you like our 1-800 number? No. Y'all are not law-abiding citizens. Those frauders do have a career being criminals. You know, look at Glenn Serio. Look at Auditing America. Look at PayPal Patty. Earl David Warner. Floyd, you guys get arrested all the time. And yet you can have the gall to call yourself law-abiding citizens. It's a shame. I would like your name and your, uh, your badge number. So I got your badge number. Okay. But well, I'm uh, not I would like your name. Okay. So, so I got I another question for you. Okay. We're not bothering anyone. We went in there peaceful and we were respectful until they started getting a little irate. Like I said, one guy told us to kiss his ass. Dude, totally unacceptable. Okay. Um, we at least appreciate that you've been cordial to us and professional. Right. You're still not identifying, which that's not good, but that's at least you're not calling us, you know, kiss our ass well, and stuff know, like that. So that's you guys. Know, total, so we got a question. I got a question. If we walk in here, are you going to arrest us? Uh, well, I'm telling you not to go in there and record. So you can go in there, you just can't go in there and record. That's what I'm asking. If, if we go in there with our cameras recording, are you going to arrest us? Uh, I'm not. I'm going to detain you. And then I'm going to call the AUSA's office. I'm going to ask them if they're going to prosecute you for violating the court order. That's that's what would happen. So okay. you'll be arrested, correct? No, you're detained until I find out from the AUSA office if they're going to prosecute you. Okay? What so you get handcuffs. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't so, want to do so, all that. So, so. You we don't want to do all that either. Yeah, we know. just want to exercise our First Amendment right. right to record in a public space, which is this is. The yeah. same uh, constitution that you swore an oath yeah. to uphold, sir. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, but you understand, but you're not honoring your oath, sir. Yeah. You're, so you're telling us that you're going to put us in handcuffs if we go in there. have a good day. That's not honoring your oath. That's not honoring your oath, sir. federal ID law. I mean, you've been nice. I mean, your tone's been good, but you but you're, you're threatening us with don't, arrest, don't sir. Don't block the entryway either to a federal building. That, that is a CFR violation right here, okay? Don't block the entryway to the federal building. Well, plane. there's no one even coming in here. I know, but you're blocking the entryway. Well, when someone comes, I'll move. I'm not going to... It doesn't matter. You're breaking the rules, and you're violating the law. I think you just want to go get a nice pair of silver bracelets so you can show your mama. Hey, are you trying to get your associates? I mean, a lot of guys do while they're locked up. 929 Stout Street, Denver, Colorado. I just got a big chunk of dead air of them just complaining and moaning that, you know, they're tyrants. So this is the uh, phone number. So if you guys want to not call this number to voice your opinion about our First Amendment rights getting violated in here. Here we have it. Call flooding. Another tactic of the frauditor. Look, call flooding does nothing more than waste taxpayers' money, taxpayers' resources, and ties up law enforcement that can be used to investigate actual crimes or possible terroristic events. You guys are really smart, huh? And that officer refusing to identify, the uh, other security officer telling us to kiss his ass, and also all of them refusing to identify. Uh, go ahead and do not call this number right here and uh, let them know uh, how they're doing, how they're treating members of the public. Ridiculous. So this is a complete fail right here, guys. I mean, there's tyranny all over the place. Unconstitutional court orders. Jefferson County's full of them. These federal buildings are full of them. Uh, it's a disgrace, it's a shame. We got threatened with arrest. Uh, so we left under duress that they were going to arrest us. We're gonna end the video here today. These frauders are gonna say the building was a fail this audit but they say that about everything even if they get their way it's a fail somehow but look if you guys like this video please like share comment down below it does help me help me with the algorithm to get more views out there the more views I get the more chances I get to get more better content for everybody I'm working hard on getting more better equipment so if you guys want to help me out with that I'll be linking my PayPal and my Twitter feed down there so if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, send me videos or ideas, I'll be more than happy to take those suggestions. 
Also, if you want to make any donations, that's why the PayPal's there. I don't ask you for money. If you guys want to make some, give me something, that's fine. I just really like making videos for you guys. So, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you. And I'll see you next time.